What's up, Marvel Snappers? Welcome to another Math Breakdown. Today we are going to dig into the rough odds of playing to unrevealed locations. I have yet to see any exact data for how the locations work, but we can get a feel for how likely a positive or negative outcome may be. As of recording this video, there are 99 locations currently available to naturally appear during the game. For those of you that don't know, locations have rarities associated with them in the game data. This is a breakdown of the totals for each rarity. If you would like to see a complete list, sites like Marvel Snap Zone or Snap.Fan have this information. As the names imply, they have a different chance of appearing. I do not know if these are the exact probabilities in the game. These are just some numbers I was able to calculate out of some vague information from various sources, but they can give us a baseline to weigh the approximate probability of certain locations. This is the formula we will use to get an idea of the odds at work. For each rarity of location, we will divide the relevant locations by the total location count of that rarity, then multiply the result by the approximate location chance. Let's start with the locations you get punished for playing into blindly. Of the 59 common locations, there are 6 that I've identified as generally bad. The severity of their negative impact differs, but for now we are just going to look at the totals. Different cards and different decks may add or remove locations from these totals, but generally you would have preferred you didn't have an early card at any of these. You risk either losing power, energy, or valuable board space. 6 out of 59 is 10.2% of the common locations. Then weighted against the rough odds of a common location appearing, I get approximately a 5% chance of a negative outcome. Moving to the uncommon locations, there are 7 out of 28 with generally negative outcomes. Ongoing cards could run into Isle of Silence, and cards you want to keep could end up in Clintar, but generally these locations affect most cards. Weighted for the chance of uncommon locations, I get approximately 7.5%. For rare locations, there is only one that is punishing, devastatingly so, bar with no name. Weighted against the odds of a rare location appearing, I get approximately 2%. These totals can simply be added up for a grand total of approximately 14.5% chance to have playing to an unrevealed location have a negative result. But there are two of those locations that are particularly devastating to have played blindly to. The combined weighted odds of either of these is approximately 3%. Switching over to locations that you're happy to have gotten a card into early, of the common locations there are 13 I've identified. Getting into any of these early can get you ahead on bonuses, prevent additional cards from being added to the deck, or lets you sneak some power into a location that's hard to play to. Weighted against the odds of common locations appearing, I get roughly a 10.5% chance of a positive result. There are a lot less uncommon locations with a favorable outcome, but getting a card into these before they reveal is fantastic. Weighted against the odds of uncommon locations, I get roughly 5.5%. And lastly, there are two rare locations you get heavily rewarded for getting a card into before they reveal. Weighted against the odds of rare locations appearing, I get roughly a 4% chance. Adding those totals up, we get approximately a 20% chance of a positive result. Similar to the bad locations, there are a few locations that are extra good to have snuck a card into early. The combined odds of these outcomes is roughly 5.5%. The interesting number to me is the total of positive or neutral outcomes, which is pretty high at roughly 85.5%. These numbers are guaranteed to not be completely accurate, but they do let us weigh the rough odds of positive or negative outcomes. Different decks or cards will have different ratios, but generally the numbers do skew slightly more positive than negative. By far, the most likely result is a neutral outcome. The negative outcomes tend to stick in our memories, but unless you are completely risk adverse, it may not be a bad idea to play into unrevealed locations more often. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything or if you disagree with anything from this video. Your feedback is always appreciated. If you have any other math related ideas you'd like explored, put those in the comments too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.